Lewis steps out to set the left side screen. Julie with the right hand dribble, pulls up at the right elbow, gives to Lewis, three on the shot clock, and the free throw line jumper rolls in. The 15 footer by Lewis is the first field goal tonight. Yeah, the Badgers turned it over against Penn State 22 times. And the points off turnovers, there's a Monty Lewis long range. This is Green with it. Sheldon calls for it, catches outside right now, she'll drive and penetrate and lose the basketball. It's a three on two for the Badgers. Post Pichalova, hard boss to her left. Here comes Hilliard in the lane, up with the right hand. No, there's Amani Lewis deep on the right, and it's in for Amani. 25 feet out by Amani Lewis. Gives it up to Hilliard. Return pass to Amani. Another jumper is in, mid range style, and Lewis is definitely hitting from outside the paint so far tonight. That's what's happening right now. Bounce inside, Stapleton catches deep on the left, missed it. Amani Lewis right there, offensive. Oh, Rebound, put back, count it, and a foul. So Monty Lewis has a chance at a three point play. Use the glass, three point attempt. Monty Lewis is having a. It's now like a sliding drill in Major League Baseball. Here's Hilliard. Loops it over to Lewis. How about a three left of the wheel? And it's good for Amani Lewis from downtown. In the first half, Lewis showing her range from downtown. I tell you, she's smoking. She can't miss. Juhas at six foot four, a hand in her face. It did not matter for Amani Lewis. <laughs> it was. Here's Pospichlova. Pass over left to center. Moscow catches and squares up. Back to Julie P. Looks inside. Great pass. Finds Amani Lewis. How about 18 points for Lewis here tonight? The Badgers lead at 57 54. Wisconsin has the basketball. Short corner. Amani Lewis squares up. Now drives in on Juhas. Counted and a foul for Amani Lewis. Back to the free throw line. Green defense, Hillier gives it up to Amani out on top. Lewis, lane line left, downhill to the rim. Good for Amani. 71-66, Wisconsin with 2.17 to go. Called by Wisconsin. I'm telling you, a key has been the rebounding. We're all rebounding a double figure. Lisa Bluter was telling us earlier, that's one of their unsung heroes, even though she's averaging nearly a double-double with Caitlin Clark doing things like that. Hey, if they get a face cut on you. Cutting to the rim off the inbound, McKenna Warnock with her first two. All five Hawkeyes have scored already in this ballgame. Looking for another one from deep, and that one falls for McKenna Warnock, who has five. Nebraska with the one-point lead. Huskers have been bitten at times this year as the three falls. More than one thing to the table, yes, her ability to score has stepped up, but it's also her ability to communicate and be there for the team. Caitlin Clark, a three again, and Clark doing Clark things. She's got eight on the perimeter to get free for the easy two. To the other end quickly, it's Clark in transition using the window. She really has everything in her game, doesn't she? Clark makes such great decisions in transition. Bodies up a little bit with Scoggins. Five to shoot, Clark to work. Deep three for Clark. And that one rolls home. What a quarter for Clark. She's got 13 first quarter points, and Iowa takes a six point lead into the break. It's exactly what she does. What is that, 40 feet? You gotta get your team measure out just to measure the confidence that it takes as a freshman to show that type of range. Damian Lillard asks. Kaitlin Clark has Iowa rolling here after one quarter. Iowa with the edge on the glass, 15 to nine, rebounding nine of those defensive, but I mean six offensive rebounds for Iowa. No need for an offensive rebound there as Kaitlin Clark. I'll reach over to get that foul, but Kaitlin Clark, again, doesn't need a lot of room to get it off. If you're even a half step behind coming off the screen as the defense, Sam Hybe there, number four, just gets caught a little bit on that screen. That's all the time Kaitlin Clark moving screen, but it's all about when you get called for a moving screen, most of the time that's on the ball handler. You have to set up your teammate and Caitlin Clark just can't miss this half has made every single shot three to shoot they need a little offense here Bourne on the run no good on that shot Clark rebound number six long pass ahead Tyro leading the field layup good and Iowa extra momentum going into the locker room up six 41 35 rather Caitlin Clark always aware of what's going on sees Taiwo running the floor and Taiwo uses that speed to get to the other end finishes before time expires Officials are going to take a look at this one, but there's no question. This beat the shot clock, beat the game clock, beat the halftime horn. And that's almost like a poster. Oscars have missed 10 consecutive three-pointers since a three-for-three three start. 
trailing on the play. Warnock not missing that three, drains her second of the night. Be a soft touch off the backboard. She has great body awareness and that ability to finish. Clark, fade away from the elbow. She's got 20. Getting to the rim easy, and then Clark, look at her, just make a move. Trying to split two defenders, but the hands there for Iowa, taken away by Clark. Iowa by three with a basketball. Marshall to a cutting Clark. Great bounce. What a find to Sonano. Wide open for a pair. Textbook 101, how to create your own shot and then how to distribute to your team. Rebounded by Clark. Seven rebounds, four assists, and 20 points for Caitlin Clark. Clark into the contact, gets the bucket. And she'll go to the line for one more. And then look at this basket. With contact, just a crafty finisher. Look. Three minutes remaining in this third quarter. Mark around the screen. Bouncing on the drop off. A little pick and roll. Finished beautifully at the rim by Sonano. And a chance for one more at the line. Has the vision and the ability to do this. Look where the ball goes, only to where Sonano can catch it. Normally I say that when it's a post move trying to go to a high hand, but look, the vision splits the defense, gets the ball, leads Sonano to the basket, and she gets the bucket, and she'll have a chance to go for the three-point play. Gathered defensively here as Clark directs some traffic. Turned down the pass, turns into the paint, and the scoop is there for Caitlin Clark, who has 25, and then Taiwo with the steal. The vision, look at this move. Multiple defenders, still gets crafty, steps through to the basket. I mean, come on, how do you guard this? And then the... Off the inbound, Iowa gets it back up 10. Clark again. Finds somehow Sharon Goodman between Nebraska bodies and a timeout. Watch the freshman Goodman. The ball gets right there in a position for her to score. Clark with six on the shot clock. Going to work against Hybe. Skips it over to Warnock. Her three falls. And Iowa with three. As Hybe will just dribble the third quarter out. Is there enough time to get those three? Clark will launch from deep. Who needs an assist when you can hit from five miles behind the arc? Her third straight 30-point game, seventh this year. Gets her to that mark. And look at the vision, the freshman Goodman finding Clark, and look, I mean, get your tape measure out, that's 35, 40 feet, NBA range for sure, but she does it with ease, it's easy, the form is beautiful, almost Ray Allen-esque, and Caitlin Clark, number 22. His plan has almost switched sides here, Nebraska wants to play with pace, and Iowa wants to grind this thing out. Clark, deep three, oh, a dagger for Caitlin Clark! May have been the finishing blow. I left my measuring tape in the car, but I mean, that's got to be again a 40 footer. Shot clock expiring. This is when you take those types of shots into shot clock situations, and she just, it's such a pretty release, perfect form, and she gets that to go. Yeah, she's a strong shooter outside on the three point range, but she also is a very prominent shooter within, making a lot of points on drive, so uh, we already saw that earlier too. Amani Lewis with her first bucket today. You know, and that's the opportunity she gets today. Yeah, and just thinking about that, she has shown throughout this year, the few times she has played, she still had a prominent position in that, and like she shows she has no fear in attacking it. So, Adi Sissoko comes back in. Here's another look at that three-point play. Soda also was able to build a double-digit lead against Illinois, their most recent game in this building on Wednesday as Amani Lewis is going to snatch that away from Sissoko. It's one-on-one. -on -one. She finishes plus the foul. The opportunity. She is so strong. You can see the speed as well. She knew when that contact was coming, but she is such a smart player. She had no turnovers against Illinois. She understands floor spacing as Amani Lewis will take it to the basket. A good move for the junior. 
And that's again stolen away by Lewis and then Sissoko with the foul. That might be another thing Sissoko looks at when she does guard Lewis is that of pushing her out because Lewis finds a ton of success right in that paint with a lot of her shots being there, only shooting. Maybe it's that she also showed this against Wisconsin last time. I don't know if Wisconsin wasn't maybe preparing as much for it, but she's definitely showing she's not afraid to put that up. And we saw that excitement running back on the floor. Lewis from the high post spinning against Mershon with Sissoko on the bench and she converts. Tara Stoffaker looking for the second Badger three. She can't knock it down, but a three point play opportunity for none other than Amani Lewis who will always attack the boards. And whoever else is in that paint garden. You see it was Powell that time around. Really even preventing all but one major run. Here is Lewis. Surrounded by three gophers in the paint and really using that pivot foot to finish off glass. Lewis, a valiant effort in the first and second half. She was consistent throughout. You see that kind of hustle and energy as she earns herself a three-point play.